Good morning guys, this is Fred here, welcome to the channel. So today I would love to talk about the the best and uh, the best flooring for a cow shed. Uh, I will talk about two. One, we have laying bricks or stones, like the way I'm doing in this cow shed. And the second one is the concrete. So each is the best. Each has advantage and disadvantages. So it is up to you to weigh to weigh on cost, uh, lifespan, and such things. So for stones, uh, like these I'm laying, this is cow shed, for those who have been following me, this is a good one, but this is not permanent. The, the reason I'm saying this is because when I want to remove this uh, or to demolish this cow shed, I'll just have to uproot the stones. And I can build them on another uh, structure or I can take them elsewhere but when you are using concrete uh, that is permanent when you want to leave the place or you want to demolish that that concrete will be of waste but stones will not be of waste stones are cheap compared to cement yeah stones are cheap compared to cement because uh, cement when you are uh, sorry, I'm not. Uh, I'm saying uh, stones are cheaper compared with con concrete because for concrete you need the cement, you need sand, you need all those, and then you need machinery to 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 mix it well, compact it well, and uh, over time, if you did not do your concrete well, over time it will start wearing out. But uh, for stones, it is very, very hard to wear out. Yeah, so that's why I would recommend for those who are starting that you use uh, stones. Yeah, and for those who have been following me, you have seen what I'm doing. But today, I'm just uh, doing the, the laying these bricks, the flooring of the, the cow shed, as you can see. Yeah, and uh, I'm not yet done, so this is it. Yeah, so between the gaps, you have to put on. Uh, soft rocks uh, these rocks so that you cannot you are not going to waste so much uh so much cement yeah and the, in this cement this mixture i've done uh, cement i've done uh, sand and i've done what we call dust so that it can uh compact so that it can have a good grip yeah and uh so that this can be uh, can last for a long time so this is what i've been doing guys and uh, so it is up to you get yourself you in terms of capital in terms of where you are yeah in terms of uh, if you want your culture to be permanent or not so this is what i have been doing and these uh once i've done these all water is going to go to that uh dish that you're going there but that i'm going to put on concrete so that it can uh, it is a drainage yeah it can remove all the water downwards yeah so watch along as i do this guys and i hope i'm inspiring somebody who is wish to uh to to, to make a daily a cow shed or start daily farming that uh, you start small and then you grow big so watch along as i do this
So before you put on pole to the the holes, yeah, you have to preserve uh, and protect from uh, rodents, termites, and water. And the best way is using polythene paper, like this. As you see, this is a pole, yeah. And I'm going to dip it here. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use this polythene. Some people apply oil, but that, uh, that, that don't, don't have oil right now. But this is a good remedy to prevent from uh, water and uh, termites. So this will act as a... Uh, it will act well, yeah. So as you can see, guys, so I'm going to dip it in the hole. And I'm going to use some stone chippings so that it can uh, be firm, yeah. Because you know cow has uh, more power is powerful and can uh, destroy all this so i have to uh make it strong yeah
Ah, uh, the flooring is complete, guys. And uh, this is how it looks after so much work. Yeah. So I decided to go with uh, stones because this is not a permanent structure. It is for the time being before I build a bigger shed there. You see all that trace at the fence? I want to build a bigger cow shed that will take uh, 30 cows, 30 dairy cows. So, but for now, this one will take just only four. Uh, and I've done away with, you see, even posts. I have done posts, yeah. The post required for each and every cow. And then after you have, you see like this post, we have, uh, I have uh, put it in paper, wrapped around it. Why? I don't want it to absorb more, absorb more water or moisture, that is and uh, preventing it from termites yeah so these are good way of one that preventing termites and uh, water water build up or absorbing more water you do that so this is the the, the, the thing that are so this is the stripping area guys as you have seen as i have always said and this is the drainage now look at that yeah so once all water comes forced into this and comes out here so here i'm going to build uh i'm going to 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 build a a channel that will take all that to the to my super nepia there you, as you can see uko there i'll put a a, a can a, a channel or a, can, a canal that will take uh all this water from the shed to that point yeah so this is just uh a simple structure yeah no much requirement uh, needed, no much, although it's not much, it is much because I've spent so much money on these and I have reduced this. If I employed people to do that, yeah, currently here we are paying 1500 per, for for the masons and the, the handman is paid 600 So I have eliminated all that cost. But that's why it takes me, me long to finish this, yeah? So I have saved enough money uh, rather than paying those people, yeah? So you too can do it. You too can do it. You too can do this. It is just a matter of dedication, yeah? So here I'm going to put posts, and I'll show you the finished uh, cow shed so that it, it can be an encouragement to someone to start small and grow with time so it is doable i've done it you too can make it there is no difference between me and you it is just a matter of mindset if you set your mindset well you dedicate and you believe in yourself you can conquer anything in this world so believe in yourself work hard work smart uh do research in everything that you are going to, to, to do, and all will be well. So, for today, I want to thank you for those who have been following my videos, for all those who have subscribed to my channel. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, guys, please do subscribe so that we can grow this community. You can give a like, and uh, don't always be skipping ads, guys. That will be my main source of revenue once I start being monetized. But for now, Thank you for, for your time. See you in the next video.